Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit different of a video than normal. Today I'm going to be doing a chatty cook with me type of video. This has been weirdly requested that you guys have wanted to see healthy college meals, easy like dinners to meal prep and stuff like that. So I thought I would test that out today and no guarantees how this is gonna turn out. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. We're in this together, but I'm really excited about today's video. So today's video is actually sponsored by Maiden Cookware. So essentially Maiden produces really high quality Quality cookware as I get ready to graduate and I'm getting more serious about cooking and just getting my life together in terms of like quality adult purchases cookware is a really great place to start so they sent me a couple things that I wanted to unbox for you guys and then show you guys how I use them in this really yummy pasta recipe that I found so stay tuned the first thing that I really love about this company is the little pamphlet they send with everything. It tells you a lot about what goes into the cookware, um, how it's made, it's all dishwasher friendly, and then the type of like heats to use and stuff like that because honestly, I know nothing. I am such a rookie with this kind of stuff, so these kind of guides and like anything like that is super helpful for me. The first pan I have is the nonstick fry pan, and as you guys can see, it's just so incredibly well made. I knew when I was talking to them that they were going to be high quality, but I genuinely was not expecting them to be so nice. I thought it would just be like a nice set of pots and pans. I wasn't expecting to like genuinely be obsessed with them. The tags are made of basil seeds that you can plant and grow your own like herbs, which is freaking cool. Honestly, my favorite part is on the bottom. It has a little recipe on this one for the perfect omelet, which is just like a really cute touch. As you guys can see, it just looks really sleek and you can tell the quality immediately like when you hold it it just feels so much nicer than any other pan that I own by like a landslide. The next thing they sent over is this fry pan that's also just really nice stainless steel same like tag same deal and on the bottom of this one they have temperatures for different things that you would cook so it says like poultry 165 degrees pork beef veggies fish which is great because again I know absolutely nothing about this kind of stuff it's just a really nice touch and adds to the quality even more um, i mean you guys can see it's just made really nicely and you can see the quality kind of instantly looking at them and then the last one i have to show you guys is this stock pot it's just really big really nice kind of same deal it has a little bit of engraving on the bottom a really nice lid i already know i'm gonna get so much use out of these and i'm super excited to show you guys how they cook today if you aren't sure where to start with purchasing nicer pots and pans they have a really helpful quiz online that's actually what i took to kind of determine which pots and pan sets would be best for me um, because I'm still in college. I don't cook a lot of meat, but I do love cooking up vegetables So that's kind of how I ended up with these pots and pans and I'm super excited to show you guys how I use them I found this really yummy recipe. I'm pulling it up now It's called the easy balsamic veggie pasta, which is right up my alley I'm gonna bring these pots and pans over to the kitchen and we will get started with the cooking We are now in the kitchen. I brought a pot and a pan out here with me This is the recipe we are going to try to be recreating and then I have all of the ingredients over here here. Like I said, the ingredients are super simple, but I will leave the recipe linked down below just in case anybody wants to follow at home a little closer. So I just have a box of penne, olive oil, vinegar. I use spinach instead of asparagus because I don't like asparagus. Um, onion, garlic, pepper, broccoli, and then I just have salt, pepper, and Parmesan cheese for later. So let's get a Spotify playlist going and let's get cooking. So first I'm going to fill this pot with water and then just add the penne once it starts boiling, super simple. That one, I feel confident I won't mess up. Actually, before I start the water on this, I'm gonna chop up some of the vegetables, that way they're a little bit more prepared. I think that's a good route to go, so time lapse. You guys can't really see, you guys can't really see, but the water is boiling. Um, if I am cooking spinach and vegetables, which should I cook first? Um, spinach cooks really fast. Okay. So I would say the other ones first. Okay. What is that green thing? Am I chopped a pot? Yes. Okay, so basically. <laughs> tutorial. Am I chopped a pot? You chopped a pot, so basically it's like a Oh, that's uh, so nice. Cutting board? Yeah. Cutting board. And then it scoops. You can just slide it in the pot. 
It's a chocolate pot. Isn't it's that incredible? Like, um, you know, like a balloon thing. <laughs> a broom? Yeah, like a oh, thing that you yeah, yeah. like a dustpan? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but that's really smart. Like, I don't know. I saw it in Amsterdam, and I really wanted to get one, but I didn't have enough room. And then I came back and saw it at um, TJ Maxx, so I got it. It's a good idea. Um, when you're done, I'm gonna need an extra set of gloves because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I don't know if you can hear me over the sauteing of my vegetables, but I think it's going well. I just took a video with my phone so you guys can see as well. But I think, I think we're cooking. Water is boiling over here, veggies are sauteing over here, pasta is going in. We're thriving. So the pasta is done and the veggies are done. I'm going to combine them and then add the balsamic and Parmesan, all of that good stuff. And yeah. I kind of went rogue from the recipe, but all I have left is salt, pepper, cheese, and the balsamic. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that in now. the only part I'm measuring because I feel like this could go wrong pretty fast. The last thing I'm going to do is turn this on low, like super, super low heat for like a minute or two, just so that it can all kind of cook together. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what we're going to do. The recipe did not say to add lemon, but I'm going rogue. So give that one a gander. I think it looks pretty good. This is my final creation with a generous portion of Parmesan cheese on top. I am back in my room. I'm about to dig in. I've actually already taken a couple bites as you guys can probably see. I have some Gossip Girl pulled up on my computer and I'm just gonna relax for a little bit and eat some pasta. But honestly, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I, like I said, I don't experiment too much with cooking and trying new recipes. I love recipes like this because as you guys could see, it was pretty easy to make. The cleanup is super easy because everything can just go in the dishwasher, which is key for me and I have a ton of leftovers for the rest of the week so I don't have to worry about dinners or lunches or whatever I at least have a couple meals planned already for me so I'm going to sit back and enjoy and dig in and I'll check up with you guys in a few Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I had a lot of fun with it and it was definitely a little bit different for my channel. So let me know if you guys like this style of video or if you want more videos like this in the future. I will have links down below to the recipes, the pots and pans, and the Maiden website. They have such great cookware as you guys have seen throughout the video. And I think it's a really great first step into purchasing things that are a little bit higher quality for your home. And I'm so lucky and grateful to be working with them. So thank you Maiden again for sponsoring today's video. All my social media will be linked down below per usual and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.